Today we're going to do cinematic film in CapCut desktop. Now what you see here is the desktop version. So if you're on your phone, you might not be able to follow this exactly the way I'm doing it, but it is the same program and you will have your options. This is for people that like to use a laptop or a computer because they're cooler. <laughs> so let's get right into it so as you saw in the example we have a few elements that we need to add and we need to make sure this is as cinematic as possible so firstly we have our image we want to make sure that we have the correct ratio so what we have here we go to ratio and we see original it's already a good solid size but we're going to just go and say 16 by 9. Now, as you can see, not every, you see this first film, this first video right here, does not fit this ratio. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to increase the size over here, and that's it. Um, so as you can see, we just have a simple play now how do we make this cinematic well there's a few things that make it cinematic firstly we need those bars okay we always need the bars <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're going to look over here we're gonna go to media library then we're gonna go and drag on this black image, let me wait till it adds, wait till it loads. Then we add this black image, this, then we drag it, so it fills up the entire space. Now that we have this, we make sure that we click it, we go to mask, then we click film strip, and then we go over here and we click this to inverse it. And then we drag it out. That's about right. So now we already have something that looks a little bit cinematic. Now how do we make sure that everything looks similar? So what we could do is we could go and have filters here. And as you can see, Capca has tons of filters to use. So we're just going to go to the movie section and we're going to look at what we like. We're going to see what is something that relates to this. And that looks really nice. This looks really nice too. So we could do, we could really figure out what we, what we want. Um, I like this one. I really like this this bright kind of look but what we're gonna do is we're gonna check and see how it looks on everything else okay so it's a little bit too bright a little bit too much for these other ones so it looks it looks good here a little bit too much here so what we could do is we could go to adjustment we can see have our basic adjustments. We could go here. Get decrease the brightness. We could increase the brightness. And just play around with this. I'll be honest with you. This is not my. This is not my main thing. I'm still learning adjustments. I'm more of just cut video, cut video type of guy. Um. 
could we could do that if we need to go here we could decrease that and all we're doing is just decreasing the saturation of it. So now it's a little bit more cinematic because it's not too in your face. So now that we have that, and we could say that this is cinematic, but come on, it's not cinematic unless we have some transitions. What we're going to do is we're going to go to transitions we're going to see what are some nice transitions that we could use. It's white flash. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I like that. It's very, very summery. It feels very summery. We have another one. And then we have a gradient wipe over here. So let's see how this looks. Mm hmm. Great. And what we could do here is we could actually look and go to animation. We could look at the animation. We could look at the speeds. We could also look at the curve. And sometimes it could give us some really cool effects. So if we see here. Kind of playing around. And we have that. And then we could get an audio here. good so usually when I see this I know it's peaking um, so sometimes I just like to put it a little bit lower so I don't see any orange orange means it might be too loud so you don't you don't want it to hit that and I'm a slow it down I'm a I'm a decrease the speed which will increase the music and then we could also add some sound effects let me see we have like Maybe some birds. Okay, we have some birds chirping here. Decrease that.
Okay, let's see if we can get some water or some waves. And I'm going to split this by doing Command-B, or I could just press B and then click wherever I want to cut it. There it is. Okay, we're going to decrease this because it's really just background sound. Get some bird in there. Get some bird in there. Some wind. Sound of waves. Lower that a little. Let's see if we can find people laughing. So there's some lab tracks here, but they're they're not really matching. They're not really matching it. So we might we might not be able to to do it. But I think the great thing about this is this is this is it. This is how you make something cinematic um, I want you to notice that it's not just one clip um, and it's not just like one sound or one type of one music it's continuous right so you have to make sure that you are layering everything to make it a final product the product look is one thing but it takes multiple ingredients to get there and of course, this is a far cry from the most cinematic thing that you could make. But this is one step better than if you were to just film it on your phone. And all it takes is a little bit of editing to stand out from the crowd.